Welcome. In this presentation, what I want to do is, is to really give you an intuition and probably one of the most uh, important and useful concepts in geometry. And it's, it's useful not just because it's, I guess, useful in geometry, but it's useful because this is probably one of the top three concepts that you'll see on standardized tests for the rest of your life, especially on the SAT. So it's, it's really good to get an intuition for this. So what I'm going to teach you is about the angles or the angles of a transverse line when you intersect parallel lines. And I, I said a lot of words that you probably don't understand, and I'll explain them. And, and hopefully uh, the words will not seem too complicated. So before I start, I just want to give credit to uh, this website that I'm going to use for this. I did not create this. Um, this is from mathwarehouse.com. That's M-A-T-H-W-A-R-E-H-O-U-S-E.com. And I found this by doing a Google search for geometry in parallel. So I encourage you to, to find it yourself and, and to uh, play with it, just like I'm going to do in this video. So first I said parallel lines. So what are parallel lines? So in this, you might already be familiar with you know, parallel parking. That's when a car is you know, right next to another car. Uh, parallel lines are two lines in the same plane. And you don't have to worry about it too much. You can assume that the plane is just the piece of paper you're working on, or the screen um, that when you're looking at this video. So it's two lines in the same plane that never touch each other, and they're and they're but they're two separate lines. So an example in this in this um, on this website, I guess the parallel lines are H, and oh, actually these are the points. So line H O and lines I L are parallel, right? Because look, they're in the same plane. They're on this kind of website, which is the plane, and they never touch each other. Uh, if you if you're familiar with slope and things, parallel lines are two lines that have the same slope and different y-intercepts. If you have if you don't remember that, don't worry about it. I think you have an intuition of what a parallel line is or what parallel lines are. A transverse line is just another random line that intersects both of these parallel lines. So in this example, this line, I guess we could call it FE or we could call it FG or but you get the idea. This line is a transverse line because it intersects these two lines. So, so what are we going to do with all this? Well, what we're going to figure out is the relationship with between the angles that are formed when this transverse line intersects these two parallel lines. So, the first one I'm going to do is are the alternate interior angles. So, let me see alternate interior angles. I already clicked them on. So, alter, 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 al